All right, kind of switching gears this week, you know, with school started Monday, um, got a little bit more heat practicing in the afternoon, um, you know, transition to uh, just, you know, game prep for NC State. Uh, so, you know, kind of a next step, you know, and for, you know, a lot of these guys, it's kind of the uh, more of the welcome to college football, you know, with some guys going to scout scout teams and you know, look teams and, you know, you're starting to establish your two deep and, uh, you know, who's next and trying to figure out special teams and the people there and, uh, you know, starting to kind of set a travel team. So, uh, you know, it's a, a lot of work. Uh, second straight day in full pads, uh, which um, I knew would be a challenge. Uh, you know, we wanted it to be. Uh, it's uh, 10 days out from game day, and so uh, we got to start getting ready to really play. So uh, good practice. Uh, really, really excited about the energy the guys practiced with. Uh, I think we've made uh, some significant strides on special teams the last two days. I'm uh, really pleased with our work we did yesterday. I want to see the film from today, but I would expect it's going to look similar. But uh, anyway. What were some of the conversations like with the younger guys? Trying to yeah, to it's tough, you know. But uh, everybody's got a role. Everybody's got a role. And every, every role is important. Every person's important. And it's, it's hard. You know, I, have, I really I, I lean on those older guys a lot because I've talked a lot about just some of the older guys in here and just, you know, remembering their moments. And we talked about some of their moments. You know, like each, each one of those older kids that sit up here, you know, I can remember the game when he, he got his first chance and, 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 and what he did and how he established himself. And that's because they got to see the hope. Because I'm telling you, being a freshman is tough. I still remember my freshman year in college. And, I mean, it's, it's a rude awakening. So uh, and it's, it's hard. You know, you got to – that humility, it's, that's something that's tough to learn for these kids. So, but it's, it's good. It's part of it. Yeah, Coach Coach Kirkpatrick and I have had uh, had those discussions. So, um, you know, we we're happy with where Mason's at, and uh, we're going to do what's best for him and what's best for the program moving forward. Is that forward going to make a big step second year in? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Marlon Gunn really uh, he had a solid uh, week last week. Had a solid day on Saturday. Uh, he's continued uh, this week, and uh, you know, and he's one of those freshmen, uh, and it's it's not easy, but. Uh, you know, he, had, he got out of class at 2 today. We were meeting at 2.30. He was on the other side of campus. He came in dripping in sweat because he ran across campus. So, you know, he's dealing with all that stuff in addition to putting on pads and going out there and having people run into him all for, you know, for two hours. But uh, I think he's kind of got the lead right now. Uh, you know, I, th I think that, uh, you know, the other guys, you know, it's their job to push him and challenge him. But, uh, you know, that's kind of where we stand today. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that's that's why I mean I was, I was so pleased. We talked about what we had to accomplish this week. And I was so pleased with yesterday's practice, um, and uh, it's just you know it's it's getting more real uh, now. This time next week it'll be real real. I mean it's yeah uh, it's it's they're excited about the first game of the regular season and they're excited about the opponent. So uh, yeah, that's really helping. Oh yeah, I mean, it, but they're like it's like last night. You got players calling coaches and looking at cut ups of practice. You know, you, you watch practice today with them. I mean, they're they're wanting to watch it last night and wanting to watch some of the picture pages and you know some of the situations and stuff. And so, you know, those older guys. I thought really that was kind of the the, the next step that the program took last year was the extra prep that I saw so many players putting in during the week on their own, to where they knew the opponent so well on game day. And, that, and that's that's the difference between an average player and, and one that's really prepared to play great on game day. You get these older guys in here from high school ranks. It's almost like having a second set of the ranks that you played with in the field. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's, you know, what, I, what, what you like is, you know, when, you're, when some of your best players are also your hardest workers and your leaders, you know, that's when things really start to go well. And that's we're getting more and more of that, and uh, you know we have these these pro scouts around here. And I told the team today, I said, you know they don't ask me what kind of player you are. You know they'll make that decision. They ask me about your character. They ask me about your work ethic, your leadership. They ask me if you're high maintenance. They ask me if you have issues off the field. 
uh, and we you know, so many of the guys are being such good leaders in those areas. So, uh, you know, that's that's where you know the program really has taken a next step. Well, he's a fifth-year starter that's taken more snaps than probably any quarterback in school history. So, he's a smart kid, and he works to prepare. I mean, it's – I mean, it, like when we go against him, offense versus defense, I mean, he he knows what's coming before the ball's ever snapped. Now, he's got you got to execute post-snap, and he's got to make sure everybody's on the same page with you. But, uh, you know, he does – he's doing a great job checking protections. He's doing a great job, you know, changing plays. You know, a lot of stuff we'll send in two plays, and, you know, he checks it at the line. So, uh, he's really, uh, I mean, I, we're very fortunate to have him. We're very blessed. That's pretty high praise. I think Isaiah's a very solid player. Uh, I'm very impressed with him. A lot of toughness. Uh, you know, he's he's not had the easiest path. Um, and he's he's a good kid, good young man. Um, I'm just really excited he's here. So I just I just want to see him go out there and have that same success on game day. I think we all do. Well, if he kicks it like he did yesterday, he will. He had a great day yesterday. So uh, you know we've it's still a competition, but uh, you know we're we're back there, and I'm you know timing them. We're you know measuring them. We're having worked with different units and he had a really really good day yesterday both place kicking and uh, kickoff and we worked those two areas no I need to steal it hide it for the semester well I mean I think punt returners uh, Malik Fleming and CJ Johnson both uh, very solid and trust both of them uh, Jalen Johnson's uh, back there working also. Uh, then uh, Brock Spaulding is a young guy. He's back there working. I think kick returners, keep Mitchell. Uh, CJ's working back there also. Marlon Gunn. So uh, then you, you have a bunch of skill guys working those off returners, and they're they're kind of interchangeable. But you know, those are the main guys. Well, I wished he wasn't wearing red. Okay, that's that's the only negative. But uh, Coach Ruff and I have known each other for you know quite a while, and he's uh, always been supportive of me in my career. And uh, you know, when I was hired, he called me and and was very helpful during the transition. And certainly, I consider him a, a good friend and a, a mentor. And uh, a lot of these guys on my staff are very close with him, so uh, we care a lot about him. Um, like I said, the only negative is him wearing red. But other than that, you know, look forward to seeing him. All right. Thanks a lot.